Reddit. What is the most baddest thing you have ever done on accident? I was tossing a pen up in the air and I accidentally got it stuck in the ceiling. Now my friends start laughing at me for getting it stuck, and I tell them it will come out eventually. Now about 5 minutes later I'm telling a story and I get animated, and gesture with my hand and the damn pen falls right into it as I close my hand. Without missing a beat I point the pen at them, and say see I told you it would fall out. I was doing a magic trick for my sister. It involved making a coin disappear, by rubbing it in your elbow, and then passing it to your other hand when lifting your arm behind your head. However I dropped the coin behind my head. It went down my shirt, down my pant leg, and into my shoe. I went with the flow, and showed her how I had made the coin appear in my shoe. She was speechless, and I felt like David Copperfield. Many moons ago, I was teaching my first college English course. I was at the whiteboard lecturing like a madman. I had filled up one whole side of the board with notes, when the marker started to go dry, without stopping for breath. I turned around, and launched it over the heads of all the students toward the door, about 50 feet away. I was just being dramatic I couldn't even see the trash can from where I was standing. But I heard the distinctive metal clank, when it went in. I kept right on lecturing, but I heard a guy in the back say ball in. I was mountain biking, and hit something, that made me fly over the handlebars. I did a full flip in the air, landed on my feet, and caught my bike before it hit the ground. I got back on, and rode off like nothing had happened, while my friends dude, that was crazy behind me. Not me, but my dad. Jar of pickled onions fell off the shelf at a supermarket and he caught it behind his back like a damn ninja. He then ruined it, by being extremely immodest about it for like 3 days. I played hockey in high school, and I had a collision with an opponent so hard our sticks flew in the air. I jumped up immediately grabbed my stick as it came down, and scored a goal about 2 seconds later. As I was celebrating the opponent came up to me, and handed me my stick. I then realized I scored with the other guy's stick. Not sure if it would have counted in the refs knew what happened. So, it's a warm summer day and little boy me is playing ball in the pool with a bunch of other kids. Ball is tossed a little higher, so it flies over my head and lands behind my back. I turn very quickly, to take the ball and toss it back. I turn so quick, that I don't even see the ball the corner of my eye spots something in the water and the hands grab it. Only that it's not a ball it's a little girl who fell into the pool, and was about to drown unnoticed. And I saved her life, by mistaking her for a ball. I work in the mall and often stay after hours, to close up and shit. The parking lot is empty by the time I leave, so I just drive really fast and straight through it. I saw a cat, and turned really suddenly. I ended up fishtailing right onto the main road and just coasted off easily. My girlfriend didn't see the cat. I was playing beer pong for the first time ever, and I was already pretty drunk. It was us against the best team at the party and they were pretty mean about it. Somehow we've got them down to their last cup, so the one dude is raising all kinds of heck with insulting mom jokes, and says something about using his nose on my mom in a very weird manner. At this point I just want him to shut up. So I toss the ball at his face. It booped him square on the nose and swooshed right into the cup. The resulting uproar from the crowd was deafening. He flipped the table screaming about how it didn't count, so we kicked them out of the party. My buddy and I were drinking one Halloween, and had had a bit too much. We decided to head home, have one more, and crash out. On the way up the stairs to our flat, he gets the idea that it would be super hilarious to push me over the stairs, yells banister, and hip shoulder checks me. As I begin flying into the air, my left hand grabs him by his collar, and my right hand grasps the banister in question. As I fly over the stairs, my momentum launches him over the banister, and into the wall, which he then slides down, collapsing in a heap at the bottom of the stairs. I continue to whirl around, until I'm horizontal, if backwards, and drop calmly to my feet. I then go pick him up, carry him upstairs, and help him wash the blood off his face. I felt like a total ninja. 6th grade. 
playing little league baseball. I was in right field. Nobody hits to right field. Nobody. As I'm sitting there in complete boredom. I yawned and stretched out my arms. I felt my wrist get pulled back suddenly. I looked over and noticed a ball in my glove that wasn't there seconds before. Apparently the big slugger on the other team had actually hit one to deep right. And I randomly caught it whilst stretching and yawning. We won the game. People thought the catch was showboating. I just needed to yawn. Skied backwards down an expert slope. I did not intend to go down that slope and certainly did not want to do it backwards. But it just sorta happened. Unfortunately no one was around to see it. Alternate story used to teach archery classes. Had a student who was left handed. I'm right handed, but I was demonstrating lefty for him when I decided to take a shot, just for the heck of it. Bullsy. Kid looked at me, like I was a golden god. On another social website I talked with this one girl off and on. But just surface stuff. Just friendly. One day out of the blue she messaged me and said she was having a hard time. So I we message back and forth. She finally asks if she can talk to me on the phone. I didn't think she was crazy or anything, so I said sure. We talked about a lot of stuff for 3 hours. Hung up and didn't think anything of it. A few months later she sent me a link to a post she made about going through depression and thoughts of suicide. She specifically mentions me in the post that she had reached out and luckily someone had listened. I had no idea. Felt really good to affect someone with something so small. Never know how you can change your some own stay, but just listening or doing something kind. To me. That is my most baddest moment. Freshman year of high school. I'm your typical awkward kid. So I was eating lunch alone. As usual. I hear shouting from the table behind me. But I ignored it as typical high school cafeteria shouting. Then suddenly. I hear a duck no. A crash. And shouts of pain. It turns out. There was a couple having a bit of a disagreement. He leaps over the table. Half tackles his girlfriend. Grabs her by the throat. And starts slamming her head into my table. Without really thinking. I drop my food. Turn. And grab him by the throat the same way he had her. The difference is. His squily. 5 feet self could beat up his girlfriend. He couldn't quite handle a 6 feet 5. 230 pound man. I meant to pick him up. But I only got him to his toes by his neck before security had him. Since it's school policy to suspend and arrest any students involved in violence. Self defense or otherwise. I was fully prepared when I was called to the head principal's office a few minutes later. However, rather than arrest me, the principal thanked me for intervening. And for not killing the guy his words. Apparently I was fairly imposing standing over him. I was in high school hanging out in the cafeteria before school with a bunch of friends. Suddenly I hear a teacher scream grab her I turn and see this girl horizontal with the ground trying to jump the table next to me and spear another girl. Without thinking I grabbed her hair and she got yanked back and just dropped like a sock puppet right in front of me. I looked at the teacher stone faced who was right up on us at that point and said why. I guess she was with her friends and was telling them how if she beat up girl X then she would get girl X's boyfriend according to the guy. Teacher overheard and as he confronted her she just went for it. Kind of nuts as she was in my English class the next year. It never came up though. Beaches be spearing. Bosses be grabbing. I had a girl at work who would always mess with me and Vika Verka. Well one time. She threw a packet of sauce at me, and out of the corner of my eye, I see it flying at my face she had to have been only 10 feet away. I quickly spin around, grab it with my left hand, and throw it back at her, and hit her in the head. First thing I said was boom headshot. In high school gym class I was not the most athletic person in the class so naturally I had difficulties at many team sports. One thing that I was, am particularly good at is playing ice hockey which I do at every opportunity. For an entire two weeks. The unit we were on in gym was roller hockey, and for once I was able to simply destroy all the jocks at an athletic endeavor. My team was really pathetic so it basically boiled down to passing it to me, so I could take it down court and score. Feeling particularly charismatic one day, I flipped the puck ball in the air, to get it past a defender. 
and then proceeded to juggle it all the way down the gym through more people, before shooting it midair past the goaltender. I'm alright juggling while being stationary, but doing it during a game, while dodging other players is something I doubt I could replicate. The teacher relegated me to goaltender duty afterwards which I'm also not shabby at. One winter when I was a teenager, I was staying with my grandparents for Christmas break in northern Canada. Some old friends of mine from the next town over called me and asked if I wanted to drive over to have a skate. I accepted, but my only means of transportation was my grandfather's old F-150 which did not have working 4 times 4 The highways were iced, and the fog was horrible, but as any teenager would, I cruised along at just over the speed limit. It was so icy that, if I was to look off the road for one second, I could feel the tire slide. I got distracted by the radio at one point and all of a sudden I had found myself in slalom type drift going down the highway at 100 km h. I had never attempted drifting on purpose. Never mind accidentally but somehow I figured out to not hit the brakes and just ride it out throwing the steering wheel back and forth. I straightened out and carried on my merry way. Would have looked cool as heck from a guy behind me. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more of Reddit Universe, 